Chances are, if you've ever been to the beach before, you have some experience with tides. So here you can see the same location, one during low tide and one during high tide. You can see just how much further the water is up during high tide and low tide, how much beach you have. So let's explain why that happens. The reason is gravity. Now gravity is the force of attraction between two objects. You can see in this picture we have a man standing on Earth. The Earth is pulling down on that man. Right? The Earth has a large mass, so it has a large gravity and is pulling him down. Now what we don't often think about is that man also has mass. He is pulling the Earth towards him, but his mass is so small that that really doesn't make that big a difference. So tides are mainly caused by the gravitational pull of the moon. So let's take a look at what that might uh, be like. So the moon and the earth. Okay, So the moon has a gravity and that gravity is pulling on the earth. Now it's not going to lift pens and pencils up off of your desk. Um, they're solid and the gravity of earth is pretty strong. But things that are liquid um, like the water in all of our oceans, well they're more um, susceptible to the pull of the moon's gravity. So we're going to use this blob to kind of represent the water. Now it's obviously very exaggerated, but you can see that the moon is pulling the water towards it. Now here's the thing, so not only is the earth pulling on the moon, but the moon is also pulling on the earth. So the moon pulls the earth towards the center of that bubble. So we end up with a bubble on the side facing the moon, and the fa side facing away from the moon. So let's look at Alaska right here. We can see that Alaska right here is experiencing high tide. There's a lot of water on this side of the Earth. Okay, So we know that it takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate. So one quarter of the way around, right, which is six hours, now Alaska is experiencing low tide. Another six hours, so we're 12 hours in, and they experience a high tide again. And then as we come back around over here, they're experiencing low tide, and then back up here Alaska's back to experiencing high tide. So let's take a look and see which locations would be experiencing high and low tide. So right now, as the Earth is configured, A and B, the side facing the moon and away from the moon, would be experiencing high tide. Sides C and D, which are kind of at right angles to where the moon and Earth line up, they would be experiencing low tides. Let's talk about how the sun can help the moon uh, with the tides. Here you see I drew a guy who's pulling on uh, a rope. and He's got a little dog who's helping. This guy is doing most of the work. He's doing most of the pulling, but the dog's adding just an extra little tug. Here, Christopher Robin's trying to pull Winnie the Pooh out of the rabbit's hole, but Kanga and Eeyore, they're helping, but, but not very much. Most of the work is being done by Christopher Robin. That's the same thing that's going on with the moon and the sun. All right, so this guy here is pretty much the moon. All right, and the sun is this dog right here. All right, it's doing an extra little bit, but not really a whole lot. So the way we have them all lined up right now, we have the sun and the moon and the earth and they're all in one line so they're all pulling together so this is just like uh, the dog right and the man they're pulling in the same direction so this high tide that we have right here right we're gonna have a high tide right up here and a low tide right there this high tide is going to be a little higher than normal. And this low tide is going to be just a little bit lower than normal. Right? And you're going to find that to be the case whenever the moon is here or over here. Right? Whenever the moon is in that straight line. Now, it takes 28 days for the moon to do a full revolution around the Earth. So how often are we going to have this situation? Here and then 14 days later over here. So every two weeks we would have this situation. Now this is not have a very good name. It's kind of one of those frustrating things as a science teacher. I wish they gave it a better name because it confuses students. It's known as a spring tide. All right. So a spring tide. Now does it happen only in the spring? No, that's what we just said. It happens every 14 days here 
in here where you have high tide here and high tide here. Every 14 days you have a spring tide. Now what would that look like at the beach? All right? So if we were to go to the beach, let's say the tide was right here and the tide was right there. All right? This is the highest high tide. This is as high as the water comes up. And this down here is as low as the water goes. You have a huge difference here in how far that water is going. Now let's take a look at the opposite situation. Instead of the moon being in a straight line with the sun and the earth, now it's going to be at right angles on either side of the, moon, of the earth this way. So we're going to have high tides right here and right here. Because remember, the cause of the tides is the moon's gravity. The sun, it just helps out like this puppy dog did. Right? It's not the one doing the bulk of the work, it's just a little assistance. So same thing is going on right here. High tides are here and here, and low tides are here and here. So think about these high tides. Is the sun helping the moon now, or are they working in opposite directions? So the moon is pulling this way, right? and the sun is pulling this way. So it's actually helping the low tides a little bit, and it's not helping the high tides. So if we go back to our uh, drawing right here, this right here would be where our lowest high tides were found. And this might be where our low tides are right now. You can see that low tide's a little higher because it's getting some assistance from the sun. So in the neap tide, which is what we call this situation, this is known as a neap tide, right? You're going to see that you have the lowest high tides and the highest low tides. So you can see it has the smallest range of how much it goes up and down. Here, during the spring tides, you have the largest range of how much it goes up and down. Now how often do we have a neap tide? Well, same thing. It takes this moon 28 days to do one complete revolution. So from here, so 28 days, here to here is seven days. All right now we're all lined up. We're in a spring tide. Highest high tides, lowest low. Seven days later, now we're on this side. We're in a neap tide. Highest low tides, lowest high tides. Seven days later, they're all lined up again. Highest high, lowest low. It's a spring tide. And back here, lowest high, highest low tide, the neap tide. So you have a neap tide every 14 days, and you have spring tide every 14 days. All right, in summary, the tides are caused by the pull of the moon's gravity. There are two high tides and two low tides every 24 hours. The high tides happen on the side of the earth facing the moon and opposite the moon. The low tides happen on the side of the earth facing 90 degrees from the moon, so on the sides. Spring tides happen every 14 days. All right, so people think they happen just in the spring. That's only because of the name. I'm not sure why they named it that. But they happen every 14 days, whenever we have a full and a new moon. Now what happens there, the earth and the sun and the moon are all working together. Their gravity is all lined up in a straight line. So you have the highest high tides you're ever going to have and the lowest low tides you're ever going to have. Now the opposite of that situation are neap tides. Neap tides also happen every 14 days when we have a first and a third quarter moon. When the earth, sun, and the moon are at right angles, then the high tides are the lowest and the low tides are the highest. But most importantly, remember that it is always the moon's gravity that wins. The sun is like that little dog that we showed you. It just adds some assistance, but it doesn't actually uh, cause the tides. The tides are caused by the moon's gravity.